Last time on Let's Play Star Wars Empire at War. After finally subjugating the planet of Geonosis on both land and space, Lord Vader has received a new objective. To capture the planet of Mon Calamari, and its shipyards have fallen into the hands of Rebellion. Meanwhile, Imperial R&D teams with a new batch of technology for Lord Vader's use. Hello, men, women, and Soros, and welcome back to Let's Play Star Wars Empire War of the Imperial Campaign. Last episode, we took out the Pirate Stronghold and the Vergesso Asteroids, lost our first ship in the fleet, sad times, and then we pushed on Geonosis, secured the orbit, and captured the planet, and now, an entirely new section of the galaxy has been revealed. Uh, about six, seven planets, uh, not too much. Still enough for a few episodes worth of content, though. And we have our new objective to push the Mon Calamari and prevent the rebels from getting a base there. But first... We also teched up a level at the end after we captured Geonosis, so you know what that means. It's time for upgrades. First things first, level 3 space stations everywhere. As you can see, we can already build broadside missile cruisers. These were the bane of our existence during when we were the Rebels. Now we get to use them. Although Marauders will probably be the new bane of our existence. <laughs> Anywho, upgrade the station, see what else we can build, as well as just improve our defenses overall. And, uh, what's the other word I want to call Oh yeah, be able to, uh... Increase the population cap, which is also helpful. Can't do it there yet. Now I'll just started. go in the north. Except for Ilium, because Building Ilium started. sucks orbit-wise. Alright, and we also got new ground structures unlocked. Let's see what we got off the top of our heads. We got turbo laser towers, shield generators, magnapulse cannons. All of them are nice. Let's head over to Coruscant, because... Yep, we got them. Heavy vehicle factories are also unlocked. Don't have hypervelocity guns, though. Sad times. Uh, what do we want to throw on Coruscant? Coruscant gets a lot from my... Whoa! I definitely want a heavy vehicle factory. That's not negotiable. Do I risk putting... Tur well, do I want to put turbo lasers and other things on here? The question is, do I think this planet will be attacked? And another question, if this planet attacked, do you think they can punch through the orbital defenses? Pardon me? I don't think so, I'm just gonna build a heavy factory for now. I'm gonna build heavy factories on all the planets for now. Who knows, maybe building the heavy factory will unlock something. Building under construction. Beginning construction. Let's go ahead and do this. Building started. Being able to produce in more locations is always a good thing. Building under construction. I'm guessing those are building reinforcements. Uh, yeah, it looks like it. Those are building some replacement maulers. Can't build it on Dagobah because, again, building like Dalian, Dagobah sucks. Uh, we'll use Geonosis as a testing hotbed once we get the uh, heavy factory up there at the very least. Now, Biss needs a heavy factory. Building under well, we'll see if we have the hypervelocity gun. Maybe we need to build the heavy factory before we can get the hypervelocity gun. Building under construction. And uh, hypervelocity guns, I do want to add on all my planets though, like with factories, because those are just uber useful. Eh. I'll save that. I might want to put a hypervelocity gun on Abogado Ray if I can. Same with Fondor. Building under construction. Although, if you need a heavy factory to build, then I'm kind of screwed there, but... Eh, who cares. Alright, I think that's all the planets. I right, now got production queues going. Let's resume the game. And reorganize the fleet. More ready. Construction complete. Thank you. Building Let's get that going, let's get that going. Probe droids finished as well. Good, now we got the heavy factor, we'll be able to add some more units to our forces, which will be great. Constructing Want unit. both of those. You it's guys pull back life. to Naboo for now, you guys can go up to Coruscant. As the Emperor wills. Uh, let's see what they got at Kuwait. Not much in terms of firepower. Station, and along with some other crap. Let's make that our next target. Bring the fleet over to Kuwait. Yeah, they only got a small station there. I probably should wait to upgrade the fleet and all that, but at the same time, they don't appear to have much, and better to have them doing something than just sit around doing jack-all. 
Let's produce some probes. You know, let's, let's build some probe towards the freaking Ilium and Dagobah. They don't, they're not doing anything. Build two down here. Three up here. Yeah, let's build them there, because I mean, they're doing nothing at all. Alright, they've only got a level one station, so this fight should... could hardly be classified as a fight. More like a massacre. Let's reclaim the Imperial Shipyards. I keep hitting console the button the instead of the freaking show these number one. This galaxy. Remove their influence from the system by well, destroying I keep hitting it. I think it's the first time I've done it in this video. I think it's less play at all. Let's capture those orbital defenses. Those would be nice to have. Also, zoom out a bit. Ready. Navigating. Awaiting your command. Beginning construction. Right, reporting in. All the detail there, like these. You can see these Star Destroyers and ships just well, sitting in orbit. Although it's Rebel Control, I don't know why there'd be half constructed Star Destroyers sitting around. Seems a little odd, but whatever. Yes, yeah, let's go over and deal with those guys. Thankfully, there's not much in the way of fighters and all that, so. Should be able to deal with them relatively easily. You guys can sit over there. Concentrate your fire on that target. You guys know all what to shoot at. Our guns are online, that's good. Oh, that ball's got guns online, that is not good. Send the fighters after it. Yeah, that is one cool thing about Vader, as I mentioned. He is completely invincible while he has escorts. So he can, and he does a lot of damage, too. Well, at least a lot of damage for a fighter. That's really nice about him. Dispatch the bombers after that position as well. See light from the perspective of a bomber pilot. Vito's away. Got it. Alright, everyone just below the station. Pieces. Man, that was hardly a battle at all. Even without new ships, the Imperial fleet is strong. So the ground force is over, and let's, uh... I'll wait till the station gets finished. Alright. They have artillery on the planet, which is going to be annoying. Artillery... Both on land and in space, artillery is just a bane of my existence. We've located the enemy. Yes, as you guys are no doubt aware of at this point. Can I help? Ready to go. Choose your reinforcements. Let's get Vader. Spotters. Well, it's a good thing the rebels aren't smart enough to use the freaking uh, whatcha doodles. Uh, what do you call them? Uh, sensor ping, that's what I'm talking about. Yep, looks like they are artillery back there. First target. Get more walkers down. Uh, probably should have got some maulers in hindsight. But otherwise, this is going to be very bad, very fast. Always ready, sir. No! Vader has fallen! Damn it! Enemy sighted! Roger that. On the move. Scouting area. Alright, maulers, please. Deal with these artillery things. They are annoying. Hostiles. Attack! Unit destroyed. Damn, our force is getting obliterated. Battalion standing by. Out. That's what we call poor placement. Oh, we lost that position. Let's get some field. Let's get a field commander and some normal infantry down. All right, we lost a lot of positions. Yeah, a lot of. Well, we didn't really lose positions. We lost units. Oh, don't want to go there. Well, if I could call bombing on it, that'd be great. Alright, let's get some anti-vehicle turrets up, because we don't have a lot to deal with vehicles at this point. 
when we get the heavy factories, hopefully we'll get access to some repulse lift tanks, which will give us a little more firepower to deal with vehicles. And that'll be sweet when we get those. But until then, uh, we're gonna have to wait. Alright, get the infantry across. Back to tank. And I'll say goodbye to that. And say goodbye to you. Oh, they, oh yeah, they didn't have a chance to build any buildings on the planet's surface. That also helps. Helps our cause. This is when we say goodbye. This is when we say goodbye, Mr. Bond. Keep going. In attack position. Those liberals had no chance. Alright. We took a lot of losses, but that was mainly due to artillery. Annoying ass artillery. Alright, barracks and a factory for sure. Construction complete. I want to keep some troops on the planet. Construction complete. Spy on Kessel. Construction complete. Corellia. Actually, I wanted you to go the other direction. Whatever. Okay, Kessel's a pirate stronghold, and yes, we do have access to the repulse lift tanks and the artillery. And we also get access to Victory Glass Star Destroyers, which I actually don't find as useful as the Acclimators. Reason being, Acclimators have two turbo lasers, two lasers, a torpedo launcher, and a concussion missile launcher. Victories have an ion cannon and two laser batteries. Not to mention they have shields that are vulnerable. I don't find them as useful as offensive crafts. They're better carriers because they carry twice the amount of fighters and bombers than Acclimator. They carry six TIE Fighter Squadrons, two TIE Bombers compared to one and compared to three and one. And they can launch more fighters. They can carry. They can launch two squadrons of the fighters and a bomber squadron at once, as opposed to the one of each for the acclimator. So they're better carrier ships. But unless there are some hidden statistics I'm missing on these things, I don't find these things as better combat ships. I prefer the acclimators for that. They're probably stronger. They're probably more durable than the acclimators. Take more hits, but yeah. Still gonna add some to our fleet. We're gonna add uh, three of these guys and three of these guys. Okay, so both Kessel and Corellia are pirate-controlled. Ryloff, I know, is rebel. And nope, we cannot build the hypervelocity gun yet. Sad times. Whoa, Ryloff's got some forces. That's problematic. Uh, the question is how many troops... Well, first thing I need to build is replacements. Cruiser reporting. Enlisting. Broadside cruiser reporting. Now let's add complete. three additional repulse lift tanks, three of the artillery. Okay, so they got a lot of. Most of these units are pirates. This is the only last. This is the last rebel position we'll need to take. Broadside cruiser reporting. Uh, again, I'm gonna see if I can get a uh, what's my doodle. Recruitment canceled. Cruiser reporting. Type of velocity gun, alright. I think we'll want to push onto... I think for now we can push along this hyperspace lane, capture Kessel and Korban. Those shouldn't be too hard fights. Too hard fights. Construction complete. Okay. Construction complete. Beginning construction. Constructing. Enlisting. Yeah, garrison there. Navigating Get the new ships now. over to the fleet. Nice, and we also want to wait for Vader to return. Ready to go. Construction complete. Some more ground troops up. Pulse lift tanks. The artillery hasn't finished yet. Sad times. Speed this up a bit. Artillery online. Yay. Ready to go. Construction complete. Reporting. Construction complete. Reporting. Okay, so the replacement troops have finished. On my way. Let's also add another victory to the fleet just because of reasons. Maybe another broadside as well. Unit in production. Just felt the fleet more. Better to have more ships than not enough. Cruiser reporting. 
Tank brigades have finished. Artillery is nowhere near. Construction complete. Artillery online. Broadside cruiser reporting. It's actually not the unit of more than ATSDs while we here. As well as more scouts and infantry. Just build up all these units by one. Flank speed. Prepare for my arrival. And Vader is back. That is nice. Get him back in command of the fleet. Well, our remaining troops finish. Geonosis has all been built up. Ready to go. Jesus, Ryloff's going to be a siege. Tell just by looking at it. All right, our artillery is finished. It gives us a lot more strategic options. All right. Now we're going to wait for the remaining infantry to finish. Scout trooper reporting. And reporting. We are built up again. Without further ado, let's move on to Kessel and try our new units. What are we going to warp in with now? Considering everything going on. Okay, we've got some broadsides. we got one victory. Cruiser reporting. Not the preferred fleet combination, but whatever. Broadside cruiser reporting. Let's show these dissidents who rules this galaxy. And like I said, victories can deploy an extra TIE fighter squadron over, uh, of what you do little acclimators, so we're going to have more fighters. Gunship right. reporting. Let's pour the fleet up. Uh, you guys can sit back here. You don't have as many tartans though, which is sad. Now yeah, we do have more fighters to make up for the lack of tartans. We also have more. Okay, bombers. Artillery, if you want to fire, now would be a great time. No, that's the button I wanted to hit. One of these hit you, hit you. Firing. Yeah, now we're firing a missile barrage. That'll do some damage. Those flips. Flips? Yes, the flips. Ships that are in port. Not in port, just kind of sitting there. Well, all of our bombers have been shot down, which is not ideal. Well, on the bright side, we can have missile crews with bombard it. Yeah, let's start blowing these ships out. Oh, we got more bombers. Nice. If you guys want to deal with that, not the best solution I know, but whatever. Now let's have the uh, capital ships deal with those interdictors, which just seem to be happy sitting there. Alright, hangar's down. It looks like the frigate's down. Should be good to go just to bombard this place. More fighters for Vader. We're sure we can do that a bomber at this point. Alright, everyone, open fire. Bombard. It's firing a barrage. Alright, pirates are down. A lot of ships, but again, pirates go down with little to no effort. Well, little to no effort on a lot of ships. A lot of firepower. Alright, pirate base is down. Took a lot of casualties with the fighter squadrons, but don't think we lost any ships. And without further ado, let's begin the invasion with our new repulse lift tanks. These are good. Now we got finally some fast moving vehicles, kind of like the T2Bs for the Rebels. And then they also got an anti vehicle cannon, as well as a sporadically firing anti infantry machine gun. Alright, let's get Vader and some infantry down. Take a look at these. These, these will help spearhead our advance. They also got shield, which helps, and they can boost powered weapons. Just give me a target. Something. Order, sir. Tank brigade ready. Reporting. All right, thanks. Everyone can go up here. Vader can actually grab that while he's here. Turret constructed. What is your directive? 
Affirmative. Rolling out. Ooh, abandoned New mining facility as well. Awaiting this order. one wants this squad can grab what? that. Roger that. See if there's anything Moving up here of value. Night mining facility has been captured. Let's bring down some of these guys, and we'll bring down some artillery just to try them out. The enemy is approaching. We've lost the abandoned mining facility. Tuxi build a sensor node here. Roger. Prepare for assignment. No, no, do not auto resolve the battle. Roger that. Construction standing by. On my way. Oh yeah. We can see what these guys are now. Acknowledged. Form up. The reason I built a sensor node? Well, so we can try these things out. Reporting. Construction. Can we hit him here? Ready. Moving to position. Artillery online. I copy. Beginning short range. Boom! These things gave us so much crap in the previous. Yes, oh, we are fighting as the empire. We're fighting the empire rather. Now we finally get to use them for ourselves. We also have bombing runs, which is nice. Targeting enemy. Moving to we hear him here? No? Alright, just deploy the gun then. Copy. I am ready. Move up with the gun. Dealt with that squad, no problem. Weapons ready. Ready for Still pretty inaccurate, but whatever. Gets the job done. Affirmative, sir. Weapons activated. Yes, Commander. Moving to destination. Move into that crater there. On the way. You can move up. You completely missed. Ready to receive orders. Standing by. Right away. Awaiting orders. Reporting. Awaiting orders. Guns are deployed. Tanks moving up. I haven't had a chance to try the tanks out yet. Alright, let's see. Deploy anti infantry there and a spotter thing there. Ready. Copy. Yes. And I don't think they're going to come through there, so we'll sell that, replace it with an anti infantry, so in case we have to ever defend this place. Artillery online. Moving out. Move the guns up. A little slower today, I just want to make some use out of these guns. Yeah, these pirates are pretty content just to sit around. Well, let's bring in the old Trident 2 method. Not done yet? Alright, bring the tanks in. Deploy the guns. Alright, let's deal with the vehicles sitting here. Man, their entire army is just sitting around doing our thing. Hmm. I wonder what they're up to. Sensor node has been yes, sold. Sir. Awaiting orders. Yes, Commander. Copy. Fall out. Let's move out. Move the guns up. Ready for duty. Ready for command. Ready. Affirmative, sir. Let's go. Yes, Commander. Gun Ready deploy there. Orders. Gun deploy there. Complete. Reporting. I find your lack of brigade standing by. Reporting. Deploy this gun. Nice. Getting some fire down range. Targeting. Right away. In my sights. Just give me a target. Tank repair ready. These guns are just wrecking face. Why are these guys just being pretty passive today? What is it? Yes, Commander. Kind of like that time when we were playing the uh, during the 25 subscriber special. We had that Imperial AI when they attacked Fondor that was just incredibly slow. Okay, they got flex soldiers, so those aren't going to be too useful. Yeah, I bring the tanks back in. 
hit and run with the artillery providing cover. I don't think we ran out of the gun's range at this point. Not that I think it matters terribly much. Especially now that we got that coming in. Not done yet, though. So see, these pirates just love to sit around and do nothing. Those guys just got obliterated. Rolling out. Moving to position. Moving. Construction Next complete. Way. Yikes! On my way. Not there. Form up. Construction Open complete. Fire. Over there. Definitely want to move those guns up, along with the infantry. What? Copy. Right, put the guns here for now. Ready. Reporting. Move uh, back. you guys can go back there in a pair. Ready for duty. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. There we are. Whew, a lot of pirates, and they did nothing with that force. They probably could have overwhelmed us if they hit us in force. Hmm. System control ah, well. Constructing. Not complaining too much. Capture the system all the same. Castle is now ours. And no serious casualties either. And this is also going to end today's episode. Next episode, we'll move on to Corban, and then uh, probably Corellia after that. And then we'll start capturing this episode, probably the episode after that. But until next time, remember to explain, pick a controller, and have a good time. Peace out, peoples. Next time on Let's Play Star Wars Empire at War. New ships and vehicles at their disposal. The Imperial forces continue on their quest to bring up pirate menace in this sector. Will they be able to add the worlds of Corban and Corellia to their empire? Or will this pirate resistance prove more stubborn than the rest?